What's going on guys? Sorry I disappeared for a little bit. Had to get some cool stuff. Got a brand new microphone. Got a brand new camera. I'm looking pretty clear now. Anyways, today, since quarantine's pretty much over now and things are opening back up, I'm gonna take a look at some of the worst tattoos that are out there right now. It is my life. I'm not really sure where this was exactly going, but however, there's a few grammatical errors here that could have made this actually make some more sense. See, the IS is could have been completely eliminated if we just, you know, sp spliced in that apostrophe mark right in between the T and the S. That way it stands for it is. That way you don't get it is. And just curious, did maybe like a five year old get a hold of a tattoo gun? Just, 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 just curious is all. Just for my knowledge. I don't even think this person actually went to a real tattoo artist for this. Even if they did go see a real tattoo artist, that artist was definitely off a heavy bottle of vodka. So, John, if you're watching this, you got some big fans out there, brother. Well, now would you look at this? The Boston Patriots. Not only is this the Boston Patriots, this is the Boston Patriots done by somebody that was in prison. The attempt at this tattoo is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. However, the stance is a little too wide. Emblem almost looks like the guy's trying to take a nice Massachusetts dump off of iced coffee or something. Not to mention, this Patriots emblem looks like it's just like... Off drugs, like... Some hard drugs. And fourth of all, since when a football is shaped like a plump, and the dude in the emblem clearly looks like he has diarrhea streaks coming out of socks. Come on. And if you look closer here, we can find Freddie Mercury off drugs. Again, heavy drugs. I don't get when artists mess this up. I don't know why, like, all the emblems and arts and people have to look like they're on drugs. Freddie Mercury in this clearly looks like he just came off a bender of some sort. Can you even call this a microphone he's holding? It just looks like a cigarette. I, I don't know. Look at the dude's neck. He looks like that dude from 90 Day Fiance. You know, I like the view, you do. From this tattoo here, you can't even tell that Freddie Mercury died of AIDS. It literally just looks like he died outside of a bar fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to, like, fathom of this, almost. This clearly, for this tattoo idea here, is clearly what mental illness looks like. I'm not sure if the dude just showed up to the shop and said, Hey, my kid was chewing on a sock. Maybe reenact it for me on my arm? Clearly the kid's a little messed up. I mean, look at his eyebrows. They probably span around his head like the freaking equator. The teeth. The teeth. Again, what is with it? Look at the teeth. Look at the, look, look at the little baby's teeth. I don't... And again, with these tattoo artists going back to the drugs, why why are the eyes all over the place? Like he's like he's cranked on speed or something like that. The baby's what? No, he's no more old than two years old in this picture. Not to mention, what the hell is with the bowl cut? The kid's two. What? Why is why is this kid like a half? What bowl fade? Maybe. But then again, I should probably wonder why is this baby chewing on a sock? That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Be sure to hit the like button down below, comment your favorite part, and follow by hitting the subscribe button as well, too. Hope you guys enjoy the brand new quality. I'm loving it. Yep, got a lot more room and space with a new lens and all that stuff like that. I can move around more freely and all that stuff like that here. Gotta pay to have good quality, and I think I'm a bang for my buck, I'd say. So be sure to follow me up, hit the like button down below for the video, and uh, Monday and Thursday, new videos. Peace.